Excel is frequently used for drawing charts. So you get some data, you analyze it, and very often you try to visualize the data in the form of charts. So let's take a look at some simple charts that you can create with Excel. So first of all, let's take a look at where uh, on the user interface do you get charts. In both Windows and Mac, the Insert uh, tab is the one that contains the charts. right? So the uh, a recommended way for creating charts would be to first select the region that contains the data and then come here and select the type of chart you want. On Mac, it is under Insert once again and you see here recommended charts. Under Windows, you see this uh, family, this group called charts. If you have data in just a single column, like here, for example, if you're going to plot only the uh, sales, then for single columns or row data, it could be either a single column or a single row, the pie charts, column charts, and bar charts are suitable. So in order to plot these charts, it's very easy. Just select rows A1 to B5. Right, I still call this single column because the actual data is only in one column, although these are just the labels and so on. So I'm going to select A1 to B5, then click on pie chart and select the very first option on the pie chart. Then Excel introduces the chart for you. So the layout of the chart and stuff, everything it does automatically. Right, So it gives the title sales. So it figured out based on the title of the column, it figured this out. And then it automatically figured all of these out based on the uh, data here in these rows. Right? I did the color coding, it did all of that and showed you the pie chart. You can modify the appearance of the chart a little bit. So for example, you can simply double click on the title, change the title if you want. Or you can right click on the legend and see what are the other options you have in terms of legend. For example, you can have the legend come on the left, right, top, bottom. You have all those choices. Another option, as I had already said, is a column chart. So again, we do select A1 to B5, click on the column chart option, and select the first option, and Excel produces this. Right? Once again, uh, Excel figures out most of the things automatically, Right? putting the numbers here, the titles for the various columns, the title of the chart, and so on. So once again, you can right click on various elements to see the options. So for example, you can right click on this region, and then you'll see different options. For example, you can change the font. You can, for example, have commas within these numbers, all of these options. Similarly, you can right click here and see the various options. Of course, you can change the title. So you have all of these ways of customizing your chart. Let's take a look at a chart in which we have multiple rows and multiple columns. So in this case, we've got PC, tablet, smartphone, and you've got the four regions, and you've got the uh, sales of each product for each region. right? So this time, our data is in a1 to D5. So if we select that entire range and we want a column chart, so we click on column and select the very first option. That generates this chart for us. right? So you've got everything is done for you. The colors it has chosen automatically it has done most of the work. Okay. Uh, now after drawing the chart, you can click on the chart, which is click anywhere on the chart and then you will see that a new tab called chart design pops up. In fact, this is applicable for even the earlier charts we did, right? And within the chart design tab, you have several uh, several icons that you can use to play around with the chart and change its appearance. Okay. So I think the best way to learn about charts is really to to draw some simple charts and experiment with various options to see how things work, because there are numerous options that are available. Um, there's no point in me sitting down and trying to exhaustively cover everything. I've given you a broad idea of what to do and you can take it from there. Right? So playing a play around with the various options and see what you like and how things work. When you plot two-dimensional data, like here we've got the products on one and one dimension and we've got the regions on the other dimension. And Excel has chosen to put the regions here and show the uh, the uh, sales here. Right? So they show the products as different columns. What if you want the products here and you want each of the regions as separate columns? Okay, So that may be an option. You may draw this and then you may realize, you know what, the other thing uh, conveys more information or more useful or whatever it is. Right? It's very easy. Once you have created the chart, it's very easy to switch the rows and columns. To switch the regions and the products, first select the chart right? and that is click on the chart. And then you know that the chart design tab comes up. And there you have an option to switch row column. 
and it switches right so you have to determine be between these two in a business context what seems to make more sense right or alternately you could you could show both another kind of chart that we draw very often are line charts so for example here you've got price of stock in fact we used this uh, data somewhere else earlier so you've got the price of uh, a share price of a particular stock for many years uh, for many days of one particular year and we want to draw a line chart so we are going once again what we are going to do is to select A1 to B26 I am drawing only for these 26 rows not for the entire year so I select A1 to B26 click on line and select the first option right line charts are obviously useful for time series data we looked at the use of bar charts and pie charts for plotting a single column of data and then we also looked at bar charts for plotting multiple columns of data in other words two dimensional data and then we looked at the use of line charts mainly for time series data so that's all we are going to cover in terms of charting in this particular course you can extend your knowledge by playing around with Excel and learning more about charts data visualization is a very important aspect of data analysis and there are many many resources from which you can learn further about this there are books there are lots of websites and so on and it'll be well worth your time to take a look at those things and enhance your data visualization skills